Okay, my students, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I wanted to do the second problem of the story problem, which was you have, to, you want 20,000, you have 10,000, but you're only getting 6% interest. How long does it take? So we don't know the time. Time is in the power, and since it's in the power, uh, we have to use logs. Now, in fact, they would do logs for the previous problem just because you had a, a, a big number and the power. Uh, but now we don't have to. Uh, but this one we still do. Let's see. There we go. That's a little better. Now notice I could say, how long does it take to double your money? You have 10000 to get to 20000 So if I said, how long does it take to triple... You could just put 30,000 on this side because you have 10. So then it's 1 plus the rate, which is 0 0.06, over how many days in a year are you compounding? What's well, a daily? So it's 365. And I know that's a little bit off because of leap year. Then it's 365 in the time. So you do the calculations. You have 365T. So you got to take the log of both sides. Divide by this log in the log of 2, and you get this number, 4. That's a 4, 2, 1, 6. Then you divide by 365. It's 11 and a half years because it's only 6%. So if you can raise the interest uh, just a little bit, it makes a huge difference in your money amount. Now, again, it would actually be less because with leap year, uh, and we're rounding a little bit here and there with the calculator. So I'm going to leave that there just for a second to see if you did it right. Now we're having a quiz Friday. And I these two, oh, I like these two problems. Now let's talk about half-life. Another reason to use logs. But again... It's when the unknown is in the power. So if you're given this information, we used to have to use logs, don't have to anymore, because in uh, on most calculators, cheap calculators, you'd have, I don't know if you can, oh, you can. A Y to the X button, the X to the Y button means raise it to that power. And if there's more than one or two items, you got to use parentheses inside that you're raising to that power. Now, on the uh, uh, the iPad Desmos, I think it's A to the B. So, but Half-Life. Uh, here, whenever you have a naught, that's called a naught, a little zero at the bottom. That means starting value. Then the regular is the ending value. Then it's 2 raised to the negative. Uh, time, time is how much it takes that you're actually going to spend. H is how much time does it take to half of it disappears. That's why it's called half-life. That's why nuclear power scares me to death because the waste of nuclear power lasts for so long. Now this one. The half-life of carbon-14 is 5,730 years. I don't think I'll be alive at the end. And I still have half of the stuff. Now, how much of a 10 milligram sample is uh, left after 4,500 years? So notice if you had 5,730 years, you'd have five because it's half-life. Half of it's still there. So holy cheese, it takes forever to break this stuff down. Uh, I'm going to give you about three minutes. Go ahead and see if you can figure this one out. Then I'm going to do it. So I haven't shown you how to do it. I just want to see if you can figure out a formula. So starting value, little naught. T is time that we're actually using. H is how much time it takes to get rid of half of it. So try it with the calculator, my friends. Okay, let's see what we got. Now I already did it to make it easier. 10 is how much we started with, a little naught. Uh, and then it's 2 to the negative, 4,500. That's how much time we're actually going to spend getting rid of this stuff. Over the actual half-life is 5,730. 
They're just really incredible. Nuclear power, we're talking longer than that. Long time. So then you have, uh, I used a calculator. I took two and raised it to the negative 4,500 divided by 4,730. Need parentheses to get this. And you multiply 10 and it's 5.8 uh, units. What is it? Milligrams? Which milligrams small, but still radioactive stuff is not good. Now, since it was two videos today and we've been doing really well, I am not going to give you any homework tonight. Uh, then tomorrow we'll see what we got. We're going to be moving on. We're doing pretty good. Uh, so uh, keep working hard every day. Do my videos. Don't take days off. That's why I had 18 kids not do the quizzes. I took yesterday and Sunday emailing and calling. Uh, because I think some of us took Friday off and then didn't even realize we was a quiz. And this Friday we're having another quiz. And for my high school kids, this Friday I want you to use Schoology. That way I can correct it and then send it back to you. What you do is you just download it again and it should have the stuff on it. Uh, so try to figure that out for me. That'll be your assignment today. Learn how to do th something on Schoology. Uh, send it in. If you already know how to do it, hey, take the day off. I'll see you, my students.